Morning News on Global Edmonton. For the past five years, the glitz and glamour of Hollywood has come to Edmonton as Muslim filmmakers go head-to-head -head for the coveted Moscars. Joining us now with the details on this year's competition and the big gala is Omar Taliani. Omar, thanks for coming in this year. So for this, for this competition, Moscars, it's obviously a play on the word Oscars. Tell us a little bit about what the Moscars is all about. So the Moscars um, just briefly was started a few years ago by uh, a group of university students and uh, they came together after post 9-11 and decided they got to put something together that can help uh, dispel stereotypes about uh, Muslims post 9-11. And pretty much it's, uh, it's a venue for, um, and it provides a medium for young creative, young, young creative um, Muslims to put their story on video and present it at an award show and uh, videos are critiqued by judges and given an award. And mm -hmm. we're actually looking at some photos here. I yeah. have been so lucky as to be a judge at the Moscars one year. Yeah. And it really is run like a big Oscar styles event. This, I mean, it's serious subject matter, but you have a lot of fun too. Absolutely, yeah. So who can get involved with the Moscars? Um, pretty much the filmmakers can be anyone, but as long as one film, one person in the video is a Muslim, anyone can produce a, a video, and the audience can be anyone pretty much. Excellent, yeah. and I really encourage people in the community to check this out because you have some good messages. And yeah. this is a toolkit, so we want people to know about this as well, right? Absolutely, so anyone who doesn't know where to start with the film, or doesn't have an idea of what to, they can make the film about. This is the toolkit and it provides a step-by-step -step guideline from start to finish, just a guideline and, and it should help uh, produce a finished product. For making a video if you want to, if you want to submit yours Absolutely. for competition. Yeah. And how many entries are you looking at normally for a year? I think you had um, um, Previously a we've had about 10 entries a year. Um, this year we've gotten a little bit more interest and it might be having too many films that we might be not be able to show them all that night. So. Oh, so you get sort of shortlisted, just like, a, just like a film festival. Yeah, yeah it's, it's grown quite a bit this year, yeah. Excellent. And what sort of messaging overall are you hoping the community comes to the Oscars? What are you hoping they walk away with? Um, pretty much that um, there's a lot of commonly misheld mis stereotypes about Muslims and Arabs and, and whoever that are shown in the media. But at the end of the day, that uh, people are just people regardless of your religion or culture or whatever, everyone is pretty much the same at the end of the day. Excellent. Thanks so much. We do have a deadline coming up, right, if you want Absolutely. to submit? Absolutely. Yeah, the submission deadline is September 6th, okay. and the event is actually October 29th this year. Excellent. And people can yeah. buy tickets. Can they buy tickets online? Uh, they can buy tickets online. Tickets will go on sale probably September 1st, a little bit after that. Okay, excellent. The big awards night again takes place October 29th. It is at the Meyer Horowitz Theater on the UVA campus. Here's a number for more information, 780-964-1186. We're going to put tons of information on our website as well. That's globaltvedmonton.com. Stay with us. We're back after a break.